This is your extended Monday Night Raw review from Sean's View Entertainment, where I always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Now, after a hot Monday Night Raw last week, and not every part was, you know, off the charts and epic and worth watching, but, you know, there were some ups and downs, and of course, the last part of Raw last week provided a lot of talk, a lot of views, um, you know, a, a lot of animosity, a lot of question, a lot of doubt, a lot of um, reasons to want to tune in to watch Raw this week. So we raw, we watch Monday Night Raw this week, and please share this video on Twitter and Facebook. Leave your comments, your likes, your dislikes, whatever it may be, um, and I will continue the extended versions of Raw reviews as long as these videos get enough likes, comments, and feedback and, and views. But um, Raw started off in a hot way. Raw started off pretty damn good. It was solid. It was Kevin Owens coming out, the Kevin Owens show, the Kevin Owens celebration, the sparklers, the balloons, the banners, the fireworks all going off. And then Seth Rollins comes out and invades and interrupts Kevin Owens. And we see a big fight. We see a big melee. Seth Rollins gets the best of Kevin Owens. It's now known that at back, at Night of Champions, excuse me, Class of Champions, I'm still stuck in 2015, we will see Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins with the Universal title on the line. But before that, Stephanie McMahon wanted to suspend indefinitely Seth Rollins. And then Mick Foley said, no, 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 no. That's not the way we're doing things here. We're not going to suspend one of the best talents on the roster, a guy that can go in there and do his thing. We then learned that it will be Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho later on. And then Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. So the WWE setting up the night in the first hour on Monday Night Raw. So we're thinking, all right, this show's started off strong. How is the WWE going to follow that up? How is that going to make us continue watching? So we learned that, well, it wasn't going to really be appointment viewing television following this segment because for me, it was very, very hard to get through Raw after this first segment. And I'll tell you what, all the emotion and all the passion that Seth Rollins showed in this segment Really, you know, I thought Seth Rollins was going to be on the hunt for Kevin Owens. I thought he was going to do more than that. Where was Triple H? Now, as I'm doing this Raw review, we're about to watch Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. So maybe Triple H will interrupt. Maybe Triple H will make his presence known. Maybe we will see the game, but we should have saw Triple H a lot earlier than 11 o'clock, if you know what I mean. Triple H should have been on the show. Seth Rollins should have been on a vengeance because, you know, Stephanie McMahon is trying to let everyone believe that, you know, she had nothing to do with Triple H coming out and returning last week. Seth Rollins certainly didn't, you know, uh, you know, believe Stephanie, but McFoley didn't believe Stephanie McMahon until the beginning of Raw where Stephanie McMahon talked a good game. Uh, whether or not we can trust her or not, going back on her past of what she's done and how she's been conniving and deceiving and everything else, you know, it's kind of hard to take Stephanie McMahon at face value based off her history, but um, tonight McFoley believed her and then Seth Rollins, I guess in this choice, had no other alternative but to believe what Stephanie McMahon was spewing out. So, like I said, the match was made Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. And I thought we've already seen this. We've been down this way before. They said that we, were, we weren't going to see this match again, okay? That was, it was the final chapter. It was the final time. But we should have known that the WWE was going to revert back to Cam Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. And I don't know how many, viewer, how many viewers and I don't know how much ratings this is going to bring in. And speaking about ratings, where was Roman Reigns? Where was Triple H? There was so many things that I was amped for so many positives coming out of last week's raw that i thought we're going to build up the momentum and it was going to pick up that steam and nothing was going to be lost wwe had a great opportunity to capitalize on monday night raw tonight and did they do that no they they, they if it fell short ladies and gentlemen the wwe fell short of expectations and anticipation like i said if triple h comes on during the main event i will be here to see i will be here to call it and i will be here to watch it but triple h we should have some kind of sign of Triple H being on Raw tonight before 11 o'clock. Because if you don't see Triple H in the 8 o'clock hour, the 9 o'clock hour, the 10 o'clock hour, you must be, be thinking, well, Triple H ain't going to show up. How could the WWE lose control of this one? How could the WWE damn this one? So I'm hoping, as I'm doing this Raw review up to this point, where which I'm not so happy about, I hope the WWE can reverse my decision of my feelings on Monday Night Raw as a whole at this point. Because if you're talking about Monday Night Raw as a whole, you cannot be satisfied. And then you had the old day meets the new day. What a poor excuse for a segment that probably should have been funny, hilarious, or entertaining. 
If you're going to have Monday Night Raw run three hours, you better damn sure serve up something that is compelling, competitive, noteworthy, and something that makes you want to tune in while you sit through all these commercial breaks. All for what? Then we had the Shining Stars defeat Enzo and Cass. The Shining Stars get the victory on Monday Night Raw. Who is booking the show? Who is in charge tonight? Are they writing Raw on the fly? I mean, I cannot believe that the WWE, are the Shining Stars, are they in for a major push here? Are Enzo and Cass on bad terms with the company? I mean, how could this happen? And talking about Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, I mean, listen, every time they have a match, it's worthwhile, it's noteworthy, it's captivating, it's excelling, it's entertaining. It's all those things, but there's only so much you can take. And then Cesaro loses three times in a row. Cesaro loses. Speaking about losing, how many more times is Cesaro, Cesaro going to lose? Is Cesaro going to make the major comeback like it's rumored and he's going to win the next few matches and he's going to win the series? Because, I mean, an injured Cesaro. I mean, I like the way that... The, and Actually, that was another match. I like Cesaro versus Sheamus. The WWE playing up the fact that Cesaro is injured, he's hurt, he's not 100%, and Sheamus is taking full control of that. So I kind of like the direction of where that's going, especially if Cesaro is going to ultimately end up getting the victory. I like where that is going, so that's not so bad there. But what about Bailey versus Charlotte? Now, this was another match that was good. You know, Charlotte, you know, taking part the knee, trying to take out Bailey. Um, you know, and, and the women were kind of noteworthy tonight. The women actually kind of, you know, took over the show tonight. With what Sasha Banks had to say, and we'll get to Sasha Banks in a little while. I thought she was going to retire. I was like, oh my God, you got to be kidding me here. I, 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 I thought the rumors and the speculation was going to be true that Sasha Banks was going to retire tonight. So we'll get to that though. But Bailey versus Charlotte was good in the fact that, you know, Dana Brooke got involved and it actually went against Charlotte in this one because Charlotte and Dana Brooke butted heads. And it was Bailey who ended up getting the victory. Bailey defeating the women's champion tonight. And then she also has Sasha Banks in her coattails. So now she's got two viable elite women going after the women's championship. And speaking of Sasha Banks, she got this emotional promo about how she went over the limit, how she overextended her body. And we were thinking, oh boy, she's going to retire. She's going to quit. She's going to give up. She can't do it no more. She's injury prone. And the disrespect from some of the fans in the segment, chanting boring and no, you're not. And but when push came to shove, Dina Brooke would come out and she says, I want to pick up hot the pieces. I'm going to destroy what is left of Sasha Banks. But Sasha Banks, it was all a trap. It was all a setup because as Dina Brooke came to the ring, Sasha Banks laid her out with the bank statement and definitely sent a strong message to Charlotte. Like I said, I think the women's segments were a little bit more compelling and powerful than what Monday Night Raw was presenting. And then we saw a few squash matches where there was actually some competition tonight, though. So I got to give it some points for that. There was some competition. There was some motivation. It was Sinkara versus Braun Strowman. And then it was Nia Jax versus not just your regular old jobber. The woman gave her a, a run for her money. I mean, she she hung in there probably for as long as anybody could. But in the end, it was Nia Jax who picked up the win. And then Braun Strowman wins by countout over Sinkara. I don't understand the reasoning behind a countout victory, but it is what it is. And then, ladies and gentlemen, um, we had Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. And no doubt, the match of the night, it was in the 9 o'clock hour. Chris Jericho, uh, the, the veteran that he is, it looked like he was going to beat Seth Rollins at a couple of points in this match. Rollins missed a few big moves like the, uh, the frog splash, but he still won with the pedigree. Now, I don't know why he would still win with the pedigree knowing that he's feuding with Triple H, even though Triple H wasn't on Raw at this time because it's almost... It's, we're, we're rolling into the 11 o'clock hour now, but um, Triple H, maybe that was sending a message that I can beat you with your own move. Maybe Rollins is going to defeat Triple H with his own move. Maybe the stipulation will be if Rollins can defeat Triple H, then he gets to keep the pedigree. But if he can't defeat Triple H, then he doesn't keep the pedigree. I am hoping that in this final segment of Raw with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, that Seth Rollins makes some sort of an appearance and Seth Rollins attacks Kevin Owens. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen in the final segment of Monday Night Raw because the first segment of Raw, the first 10 or 12 minutes was fine. I had no problem with it. You're not going to hear me bitch, moan, and complain. But if you're just going to have the first hour be good and the third hour be good, where's the in-between? Where, where's the building up? Where's the fundamentals? Where's, you know, making things matter and adding things up here? You know, you don't want to subtract. You don't want to take away. You know, you, you, you want to multiply here. You know, you, you want to make an impact. You don't want to just have certain things in certain ways and, you know, well, maybe this puzzle piece will fit here, but then this doesn't make sense. And, the, you know, overall, the show has to have 
uh, momentum and it's going to be compelling and it's going to be uplifting. Now, you would think in the main event of Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens that the match isn't just going to end. The match isn't just going to end where Owens or Zayn gets the victory. Maybe Seth Rollins will screw over Kevin Owens here. Like I said, I'm expecting Seth Rollins to come out to the ring. Uh, then we had, like I say, uh, Sasha Banks almost retiring. Um, you know, I, I'm glad that didn't happen because, I mean, how many times have we seen wrestlers, superstars, divas have it to retire over the last several years? I mean, it's 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 completely went out of control with the retirements and everything else in between. But uh, right now, we're going to focus on Monday Night Raw. You're going to get my live commentary. You're going to get uh, my feelings towards what is going on. Right now, we are at a commercial break. You're getting my live, not only getting my Raw review, and like I said, if before this main event is all said and done, out of out of 10 stars, Raw is lucky to get 4 out of 10 stars. I'll bump it up to maybe 6 if Rollins or Triple H makes an appearance. Because the WWE had a great opportunity to capitalize. I mean, even if they would add a Triple H promo, uh, something from his hotel room or his home or from WWE headquarters, I mean, something to do with Triple H would have been nice to see. Because we need answers because right now we're still lost. Unless the WWE is going to try to drag this one out. Because the rumor is that it will be Triple H versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania next year. So I can see why the WWE may want to slow build this one. Okay, And right now Kevin Owens has Sami Zayn cinched up and locked in a reverse. Oh wait a minute. We're going back from commercial break now. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me back up here. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay. Now we're back to live action. Okay. Kevin Owens has... Sami Zayn locked in a chin lock, a headlock. He's trying to wear him down. He's trying to take him down. And there was a super kick to Sami Zayn during the commercial break. Sami Zayn, though, trying to battle back. Sami Zayn may not be the universal champion, but he's fighting with the heart of a champion, the competitive spirit of Sami Zayn. I mean, like I said, you know, they always impress us, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. These two have been fighting and going at it for years. They know each other like clockwork. But the bottom line is, like I said, when you feel and you hear that it's going to be the final match, the final chapter, and then we're seeing this as Raw's main event, you know, some people are going to have a problem with that. You know, this is not a new match. This is not something that, you know, we, we haven't seen before. As I am watching in on Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. And Kimmy's, Sami Zayn right now has Kevin Owens right in his face. Kevin Owens is not backing down. He's not shying away. Kevin Owens is smacking Sami Zayn in the face. But Sami Zayn comes back. Sami Zayn resilient. Somehow Sami Zayn coming back. I don't know how. I don't know when. I don't know why. But he's resilient. Like I said, even Sami Zayn said earlier tonight, you know, I, I, I feel a little jealous that, you know, Kevin Owens got here before I did, even though I was drafted before him. And oh, there goes Sami Zayn going to the high-flying district. Sami Zayn takes out Kevin Owens outside the ring. Sami Zayn is now in control. But can Sami Zayn capitalize this? The question. Can Sami Zayn take over from here? Sami Zayn takes Owens back into the ring. Can Seth Rollins get a measure of revenge? I mean, I know Seth Rollins attacked Owens earlier in the night. But if the WWE thinks that that's all that should happen and that that was good enough, that should satisfy our taste buds. And now Sami Zayn again takes out Owens outside the ring. First he did it on the other side of the ring. High flying maneuver. And then a high flying maneuver on the other side of the ring. The leap of faith for Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, if he would have missed both those, that could have been very traumatizing to uh, him in this match. And now Sami Zayn takes Kevin Owens over, and oh, down goes Owens. And now Sami Zayn into the pinning combination. Oh, but Kevin Owens kicks out. This is your Raw review. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want longer extended Raw reviews each and every Monday night, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. A flying senton bomb by Sami Zayn from one side of the ring to the other side of the ring. Sami Zayn is throwing everything at Kevin Owens and more. It is definitely the clash of the champions before the clash in a few weeks' time on the WWE Network. Like I said, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn know each other so well. And now Sami Zayn looking for the finishing touches. Sami Zayn looking to finish this one, but Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens counters. Kevin Owens comes back, and now Kevin Owens with a huge clothesline in the corner to Sami Zayn. And now here comes... Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn laid out in the corner. And now Kevin Owens is going to go for one of his favorite maneuvers. And the rolling, no, wait a minute, the rolling senton. But Owens, oh, it's reversed. And Sami Zayn reversed the hell out of Kevin Owens on that one. And turned Kevin Owens inside out. And now Sami Zayn realizing he's seething. The moment is here. Can Sami Zayn do it when it matters most? But Owens gets out of the ring. Sami Zayn got cut off in the path. Kevin Owens got underneath the rope. Kevin Owens, the thinking man's wrestler. 
Kevin Owens is not going to get caught up in that. But now both competitors outside the ring on the hottest part of the ring. On the outside, on the apron now. And now Kevin Owens is going to powerbomb Zayn off the, off the apron. Oh my God. This could be the end of Sami Zayn. This could be the end of his career right now. The Universal Champion is going to take out Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens in full control, but Zayn battling back. Kevin now. Kevin and Zayn. Right hands on the apron. It's anybody's guess what could happen here. Uh-oh. This is a very bad position. And now Sami Zayn has Kevin Owens. Oh, my God. Not on the outside of the ring. Not on the apron. But Zayn. Oh, no. Owens reversed it again. Owens with a great counter. Kevin Owens now puts Sami Zayn on the back of his neck. Uh-oh. And, oh, a stunner-like maneuver over the ropes. Hangs up Zayn in the ropes. Can Kevin Owens take over now? And, oh, what a huge clothesline. Almost took Kevin, almost took Sami Zayn out of his boots. And now the rolling sent down in the corner. Kevin Owens seizes him up. He sizes him up. And, oh, Kevin Owens now going for the pop-up powerbomb. The Universal Champion feels like he has this one. But Sami Zayn reverses it. Sami Zayn finally hits. There it is. There it is. Sami Zayn with the big move. The big move. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn was within an eyelash, an eyelash of defeating Kevin Owens in this very match. On a Monday Night Raw up to this point, that has not been stellar. The fact that I'm still watching Raw, and is this what WWE tries to do to get you to watch from one hour to the next? The consistency, the continuity in this Monday Night Raw has been that great. Oh, and we also had a match with uh, Darren Young earlier in the night. Darren Young defeated Jinder Mahal. Let's not forget about that. Let's not forget about another highlight. And then we've seen, Sam, we've seen uh, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil go at it again. I'm not getting really nothing out of this feud. These two are you know, beating the holy hell out of each other each and every week. But it's not really captivating or compelling. I mean, I don't know. I, I think that, that program could have been booked so much better. And Sami Zayn just hurt his leg on the... Oh, no. Sami Zayn just tweaked his leg. This is not good. Sami Zayn hurt now. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn went for a high-flying leap. But I think he just twisted his ankle. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn is hurt. Sami Zayn is hurt bad. This could be a legitimate injury. I think his ankle just rolled up on him. Oh, my God. Sami Zayn is hurting and hurt bad here. His ankle rolled up on him. He twisted his ankle or he could he could he made a shot at it or broke it. And now Kevin Owens has taken over. And now Kevin Owens is gonna look for a power bomb on the apron of the ring. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kevin Owens now shades of what happened in NXT. And now what's Kevin Owens? And now Kevin Sami Zayn with Owens. Oh my god! On the outside of the ring. Sami Zayn hitting one of his favorite finishing maneuvers on the outside of the ring. He did it inside the ring and now he did it outside the ring. Oh my god. Maybe you can hit the Halova kick. And then Kevin Owens will really be in trouble. Where is where is Sami Zayn getting this from? Sami Zayn on one knee, on one leg. The fighting spirit of Sami Zayn in this contest. I cannot believe what Sami Zayn just did to Kevin Owens on the outside of the ring. And those mats, you know, <laughs> doesn't break your fall. They're only there for the purposes of aesthetic purposes to make it look good. And now Sami Zayn, now looking for the Haloa kick. He's looking for his finisher. He's gonna. He's, Kevin Owens is in the corner. He's getting ready. What's he going to do? Oh, but he couldn't. Oh, no. He went for it, and now pop-up powerbomb coming up. Oh, that's got to be it. Sami Zayn, one, two, three. And the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens, wins this contest. Kevin Owens gets the victory. Kevin Owens wins this match. Kevin Owens successful on his first win, his first night. Not only is Kevin Owens successful and he won this contest, but he is the longest reigning Universal Champion. Wait a minute. Is that Roman Reigns? What the hell? Roman Reigns is here. Finally. Finally, Roman Reigns is here. The big dog is here. Roman Reigns was also screwed over last week. And Roman Reigns is not going to forget it, not by a long shot. And now Roman Reigns is coming to get him some. Roman Reigns could have won that match last week had it not been for Triple H. Kevin Owens seen, looks like he's seen a ghost. And now Kevin Owens has to contend with the fact that Rollins and Reigns are after him. Oh my God. Roman Reigns is here. Kevin Owens doesn't know what to do. I didn't think Roman Reigns was going to be on Raw tonight. So Raw is going to get a little bit better of a feeling and a reaction from me now that Roman Reigns is here. Business has just picked up, ladies and gentlemen. What is Roman Reigns going to do? Kevin Owens is in the middle of the ring. What is Reigns thinking? After he was screwed over by Triple H last week, Reigns should be the Universal Champion, or so he feels he should be Universal Champion. What's going to happen here? A confrontation between Owens and Rollins.
excuse me, Owens and Reigns. Uh oh, what is going to happen here? What can we anticipate? What can we expect? And Kevin Owens gets out of the ring. What about the prize fighter? What about a fighting champion? What about the heart of a champion? What the hell is going on here? Owens is just going to leave? Uh-oh. Here comes Jericho now. Oh, boy. Now now we got a predicament on our hands. Chris Jericho now coming down. Now it's going to be a two-on-one assault. Roman Reigns now in the middle of Owens and Jericho. Where is Seth Rollins? you got to think. you got to assume that Seth Rollins is going to come out here. Former Shield members. Uh-oh, here comes McFoley. What the hell is McFoley going to say? What's McFoley going to do? Oh, my God. What's Foley going to say? Oh, McFoley says that Reigns wants a piece of Owens' title. Oh my God, huge news from Mick Foley. If Roman Reigns can defeat Kevin Owens next week, then the triple threat, then the match at Clash of Champions between Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens will be turned into a triple threat match with Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. That is huge. Major implications on Clash of the Champions. Oh my God, Mick Foley might have just turned Raw upside down and inside out. And just like last week, the final segment of Monday Night Raw is a hit and a winner, but so was the first segment of Monday Night Raw this week. But if you're going by Monday Night Raw, you could watch just... Maybe 20 minutes of this Monday Night Raw and you would get the satisfaction out of it, what you wanted. The first segment, a couple in-betweens, and the final segment. Roman Reigns, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. Roman Reigns with a spear to Jericho. Jericho tried the cheap shot. Jericho tried to take out Reigns, but Reigns didn't have none of it. Kevin Owens thought he was going to get one over Roman Reigns tonight. You're going to wonder, though, how is Seth Rollins going to react to this match potentially being a triple threat match? Ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions. This Raw review out of 10 stars... I'll give it 6.5 out of 10 stars, and that may be overrating it. That may be being too nice. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe for more Raw reviews, Raw coverage. I will be here tomorrow night for SmackDown coverage. And remember, each and every week I will book Monday Night Raw, and I do feel that my booking and my strategy and my planning of this Raw was better than what we got tonight, no doubt about it. Subscribe. And where the hell was Triple H? Triple H never showed up. Where is the sense? Where is the logic? And no Triple H. Are we going to have to wait? Is he going to screw over Seth Rollins at Clash of the Champions again? The WWE is going to keep writing that chapter, I hope. I hope the WWE knows what they've done here. I mean, we don't even know about the bond, the friendship between Kevin Owens and Triple H. We don't know about Stephanie's feelings. We, we, we don't know. There's just a lot of unanswered questions here. Subscribe.